you're probably wondering what these bars at the top are representing. The left one shows your available funds, the right is science, and the middle one is reputation. You want to keep that one on the green. Up on the top right here, you have the brand new toolbar. This button shows you your active contracts, which are currently empty since we just started, and this one shows you notifications. But let's get to the meat of things, the contract system. The companies all over Caravan will want you to perform tasks for them, and they're willing to pay for it. Welcome to the Mission Control Building. Gene Kerman works here and he'll show you and comment on your available contracts. Contracts reward you with funds, science, and reputation. Contracts are scripted at first, but soon we'll switch to procedural mode, which will read your current in-game achievements and tailor contracts for you. Infinitely. You can grab as many as you want, but you will be penalized for failures or missed deadlines. Let's start with the two basic ones. The Kerbin World's first record-keeping society wants us to launch our very first rocket. They have given us roughly 2,000 funds in advance, we'll take away exactly 2,000 if we fail, but if we complete it, we'll get 4,587 funds, 5 science and 11 reputation. This contract never expires, so we can take our time. They also want us to set an altitude record of 5 kilometers, which I believe is well within my skill level. The other two are pretty daunting, considering I only have the first known in the tech tree. Okay then, let's build the rocket. And to the VAV we go! Notice the funds counter at the bottom left, now boosted by what we got from accepting the contracts. On top of it, we have the current launch cost for the ship. Notice how it goes higher with each part that I add. Don't worry though, you will only be built once you hit the launch button, so feel free to experiment away. Now, we want to make sure that this vessel will hit 5 kilometers so we can get both contracts done in one launch. I'm a big fan of overkill, so I'll keep adding fuel tanks, just to make sure it happens. Eh, uh, funds actually matter now though, so I opt for a more conservative approach and cut a few tanks off. And that a parachute too, so I don't end up losing it. It looks just about ready to launch, really. So let's ask the Kerbals to bring it to the launch pad, shall we? Come on guys, let's go! You'll notice I fixed my staging off camera, but actually I did nothing else. The game now defaults to 50% thrust on launch, helps newbies have fun, you know. New buttons have shown up on our toolbar. On the left here you have your funds, science and rep, next up your fuel, electricity and the like. The contracts button now shows our available contracts, but notifications remains empty. As we launch, we can see notifications show that we have a successful contract completion, easily verifiable by the contracts button right next to it. New vessel successfully launched, our first big step into space complete. Jebediah's journey continues. Let's set the throttle to 100% and click on the contracts button to lock it in place. I'd like to see the moment we complete the altitude record one. We can celebrate in the meantime, I mean our first contract is just complete and we have ensured the payout. Now, as the second contract completes, we angle away from the ocean, deploy our parachute and prepare for the journey back down. Landing's hard. We lost the engine there, which is actually a bad thing now. Let's recover the vessel and then I can show you why that's bad. As always, here's your mission summary showing you the amount of science you have earned from the mission. Nothing new here, but let's look at the brand new tabs that have popped up as well. Any part of a vessel you land on Kervin and recover will refund you a percentage of its value. That means because I didn't burn some fuel to slow my descent, I lost the entirety of my engine's value. Finally, we have crew recovery, Jeb's back, we got some reputation, great thing to have, which not only makes him available again, but it also helps our mission quality. I feel like I forgot something. Oh, that's right, this is running on the brand new 64-bit version of Kerbal Space Program. I have been Miguel Piña for Squad, and I hope you enjoy First Contract.